everybody help me welcome Fred Hammond. Now, now uh, Fred, for those that don't know, your journey to where you are now um, has been kind of painful one. Now, months before your mom passed away, she revealed something that made your testimony even that much more powerful. Share your journey from, from that point. Three months before she had, she revealed the final piece of my puzzle. She said to my daughter and myself, she said, and she was crying and she was sorry, she said, Fred, Fred was aborted. And I'm looking at her at 47 years old, I'm like, what are you talking about? She said, when I made the mistake, I went and had a DNC done. And, or whatever she, I don't know what exactly, but she went and she said, I went to the clinic and it was illegal to do it in the 50s and 60s. And I had you aborted. And I was supposed to go home and have a miscarriage and bring you back in a bag. And I looked at her and I said, she said, I had it done. There was blood. I got up, I went home. Two days, nothing. Three days, nothing. She decided, she decided to go back and said, I don't think it worked. And as she said that she don't think it worked, they looked and said, no, it's still there. We'll get it this time. And she says, as she laid there and they got the tools, she said she felt like God was going to kill her. She got up and ran out putting her clothes on. Now here, here's the deal. Here's why I don't have time to play church. At the end of the day, when I was supposed to be discarded and the tools came in to kill me, to crush my head or whatever you're supposed to do, mm -hmm. the, it, the Lord took his hand, pushed in there and pushed me back out of the way. And they thought they got me. But at the end of the day, God had a plan for a broken situation. And even though the trials have been crazy, and I was, and from that moment on, it was just, life was just rough, but God hid me. Even in life, as things started to act crazy, Donnie, he still had to, I see him taking his hand, pushing me back. And I'm not the guy that sits up and tries to act like I'm so much better than anybody else. I'm just telling you right now, God has just chose me to do something and I'm going to do it to the best of my ability until I close them. Now, I, I'm, a, I'm a little messed up because I, I never, all my years of knowing you, I never heard, as a matter of fact, I don't think anybody's ever heard the whole story. This is the first time that we've heard the true dynamics of how God brought Fred Hammond about. And that this is not just another artist who has another gift, but this is literally someone whom God has safeguarded from his inception. A lot of things that people think are a mistake wind out to be used by God in great ways.